What's good, planty peeps? My name is Lily, and welcome to Peace Lily Plants. So today, I'm stealing a video idea from Jacqueline's Jungle, and she might have stolen it from someone else, who knows, but I thought it was really fun, so I'm doing it now. And it is, what are the plants that I have multiples of? The plants that I love so much, the one just isn't enough. I'm pretty sure I did that uh, hand signal. Not very well. One just isn't enough. So before we dive right into it, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel to keep up with my planty journey. So we'll start out with a classic and I'm going to be picking up some plants off my desk and the floor and at times rolling around the room to get them. So anyway, we'll start with a classic. One of my favorites. Sorry, I just noticed that there was some yellowing on the edge of the leaf and then I was looking at the rest of them. Okay, I think they're fine. Um, good old classic heart leaf philodendron. Let me turn it so you can see the fronts of the little heart shaped leaves. Aren't they great? Yes, I love this plant so much. That is one of them. And here is the other one. A little bit bigger, but not humongous. I tell you, I'm always tempted to get another one when I go to a plant store and they have the ones that are really big. Cause I'm like, I have a small one and a medium one. I need a big one too, right? But so far I've managed to show a little restraint so we'll see how long that lasts but yeah good old classic heart-shaped leaves bright green shiny easy to grow easy to propagate easy to take care of what is not to love next i would like to show you the neon heart leaf so just like the normal heart leaf but it's neon it looks like a neon pothos but if you really get up and compare the leaf shapes this one has that classic heart shape and the pothos is uh well i don't know what word for it but it's not heart shaped so anyway this one just like the normal green kind easy to care for easy to propagate i think with the neon coloring this one is even more of a statement piece so if you want a plant that maybe would catch someone's eye and they would say oh wow that is so pretty i might would actually go with the neon over the normal green it is so eye-catching so beautiful and trying to find look at this one leaf it has a dark green stripe that's fun right so let me grab my other one that i just bought here is my other neon heart leaf philodendron and I just put it in this beautiful pot right here that I thought complemented the coloring oh so well. So just a, a slightly bigger version of the other one and this was like $15 and I couldn't pass it up. Such a good price for this baby. The next I'd like to show you another beloved heart uh heart shaped philodendron i don't know why i couldn't say words for a second there another heart shaped philodendron this is one of my philodendron micans with the fuzzy leaves and the dark green sort of burgundy coloring it's beautiful, easy to care for, easy to propagate. I'm, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but philodendrons are just freaking amazing. I don't even know what else to say, except to let you admire the way it looks, and then I'll show you my other one. My other one that I'm picking up off the ground, I've had this one a little bit longer, and for a while it wasn't doing a lot, so I was kind of worried about him. But then I moved him closer to the sun. It's happy about that. So I guess this guy likes to have a lot of light. But anyway, I'll try to tilt it so you can see the leaves, but I don't want to spill the soil everywhere. You see, this is just like the other one, but a little bigger. So again, just gorgeous. Heart-shaped philodendrons cannot get enough of them. So next, I'd 
would like to show you a Cebu Blue Pothos. So this is a little uh, Frankenstein pot that I made recently. It has half of it a Cebu Blue Pothos and half of it is this, uh, what do you call it? Uh, lavender Tradescantia, beautiful bluish silvery sheen to the leaves. It grows fast, it's easy. Even if you're, you know, quote unquote, not that good at plants, you'll do fine with a Sabu Blue. And I like that it looks uh, average enough to kind of blend in and be like a typical plant, but then also just with that bluish silvery sheen, it's like it has enough setting it apart to make it kind of more interesting than just a normal gold or jade pothos. So this is my other Cebu Blue pothos, a little bigger, and uh, yeah. Man, this is so luscious. She is looking like a straight queen. Beautiful, beautiful plant. And if you're lucky and you happen to walk in Lowe's, Home Depot, or Walmart on the right day, you might find a huge hanging basket for $20. Definitely keep an eye out for this one when you're out and about. So this is one of my beloved Silver Sutton Perthos. I absolutely adore this plant. The silver dots and you know kind of like the say blue say blue kind of like the Cebu blue it is average looking enough to blend in but if someone takes that extra moment to look at the leaves I think they'll be wowed by the silver my sleeve is getting caught okay I think they'll be wowed by that silver. I don't even, what can you even say? Like, honestly, it amazes me that something in nature can be silver. Like, I don't know, that, it, it just seems like silver should not be a color that a plant can naturally make, but it does. And it's so beautiful. And, um, these are really easy to take care of. They're just like other pothos, honestly. Except one thing that I think actually makes these a little easier to take care of is the fact that the leaves will kind of give you a hint of when you need to water because they start curling up when the plant gets dry. So with this one, I would say it's probably good for now, but some of the leaves are starting to curl, so I'll probably water it in like a day or two. Here's another of my silver satin pothos. Look how cute this pot is. And this sits on my bookshelf and trails over and it's just the most adorable thing. You can tell from this strand and how it, uh, some of the leaves are curling and not looking oh so happy that this one probably is ready for a watering. But anyway, once again, so beautiful. What is there even to say? Can you understand why I have multiples of this plant? So the last plant that I have to show you that I have multiples of is String of Hearts. And I mean, is there even an explanation needed for this? Well, really an explanation has not been needed for any of them because they were all amazing at first sight. But especially this one, a string with little hearts on it. Nature's over here coming up with ideas cooler than we could ever come up with on our own. And look how full the top of it is. So I just picked this one up because it was $7.99 and like how could I not buy this for $7.99? And I haven't repotted it yet, but let me show you my, my big one that I already have in the pot. This guy here. Look at this big old boy. He just keeps going and going and going. But yeah, once again, love it. There's nothing not to love about String of Hearts. Well, except for the fact that they're not quite as easy as everything else. Um, they don't like as much water. 
I mean, I've never killed one from overwatering, so it's not super fragile, but still. Uh, maybe don't water as much as other plants, and, uh, they do get sparse on the top if you don't give them a lot of top-down light, so definitely do that. You see how I have mine here? Let me, uh, turn the, whatchamacallit, the, the tripod a little bit. But, you see, mine is sitting there and the window's there, so it is really getting that good top-down light. And actually, there's another string of hearts up here in the face pot, but it's silver. So, technically, it's not the same as the other ones, although very similar. So, anyway, I appreciate you watching, and I hope that you enjoy just admiring my plants and seeing some of my favorites and seeing some of the ones that I have multiples of. Let me know in the comments which plants do you love the most and which ones do you have multiples of. Thank you for watching this entire video, and please like it and subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, one more thing. Just remember wherever you are in whatever your circumstances bloom where you are planted honey see you in the next one bye <laughs>